Uh, ben Winslow is at an event for Bernie Sanders where you mentioned earlier, Bob, he has taken the grassroots method from the very beginning and it seems to be working. Yeah, that's right. Bernie Sanders doing very well here in Utah, far and away the leader here. And of course, uh, Fox 13 and other news outlets projecting that he did win Utah. And joining me now is uh, Rosalba Dominguez. Uh, let's let's talk about this. Obviously, a good night for you. Oh, it's an amazing night for myself and everybody here and women of color and Latinos in Utah as well. You were, of course, one of the state co-chairs of his campaign. This is a state that's obviously very red. It's a state where Democrats are very centrist, but Sanders is very progressive in his politics. What do you attribute him winning Utah to then with all of those factors? Well, we have a lot of environmentalists here. People care about Utah. People want someone like Bernie who is authentic, who is real, who is going to stick to his word. In Utah, we get the opposite. And I think people are we're tired of that. We're tired of the empty promises. How do you think that's going to translate to Democratic politics in Utah in the future? Um, for me personally, it's, it's kind of shaking things up. And I think it did before as well. But I think now we really have to consider what our voters going to bring to the table. What how, do we want these numbers to keep steady for the for the presidential election, which is reflective for the state elections as well? How do we keep them engaged? A uh, record number of voters uh, turned out today, over half a million ballots, according to the state elections office. 34% active voter turnout, again, another record. How do you keep voters engaged at the level they are now? You listen to them. You listen to what they want and what their needs are. And I think we learned that with, with the last proposition and the tax referendum, and we need to listen to them. But do you think that you can keep Sanders voters engaged? You yourself serve in the Murray City Council. How do you keep voters engaged? Well, someone like myself, other elected officials as well, we need to keep talking to our constitu constitu constituents and neighbors, and we need to keep them engaged, especially our young voters. And, and, and the Utah Party needs to also listen to them and and serve them in a way that they've never done before and they need to talk about that and Bernie Sanders as well is this going to shake up local politics do you think especially democratic politics yes I definitely believe so and how so <laughs> well I it, it's going to in a way where if we can take Bernie's message and in, in, in terms of his elected officials and those who are running and we care about the environment, we care about what's going on in our local communities and we want to get in on the ground, boots on the ground, then we need to think about that as a Democratic Party. But it's going to take a lot of work from the elected officials and those who are running to do that and keep voters engaged. All right, well, Salma, thank, thank you so you. much. <laughs> Obviously a very good night here at the Sanders campaign. We're going to send it back to you. All right, Ben Winslow live. Thank you so much, Ben.